So Dr. Brad, I have to confess, six months ago, I couldn't stand anything about social media. I, the only thing I really ever heard about it was my patients who were being bullied on social media. And I thought, you know what? I don't want to have a bar of it. So why'd you get into it? I don't know really. I sort of, in a way, I, um, I did a few courses on different things. And I think what I had to do really, Brad, was find my unique platform. So it's not about, I'm still not a great fan of Facebook, for example, but I found joining something like Twitter, all of a sudden I had this great sense of community. I started to look up people that I liked and respected and I started to follow them and then sometimes they followed me back and all of a sudden there was this big discussion going on with people that I would never hope to meet and then I got very heavily involved with a big campaign, APRA Action. Next thing I know, I'm loving Twitter. It's like what it's social. <laughs> social on me? social media. Because there's this real argument that social media is anonymous, it's, there's no personality to it. Mm. I actually really enjoy it. Why is that? I think it's the connection that you make with other people and it, it's like going to a big party and you have all these amazing conversations with people that you wouldn't have met otherwise. Oh, yeah, it's interesting. But yeah, no, really, six months ago I would have really said, why would I want to go to a social media conference? But now I've realised that if you actually want to connect with people in medicine, you have to be on social. And I'm not saying for the slightest that I want my patients to follow me and that I actually converse with them on, on social media and that's not what I'm doing it for. But I actually have found a group of people that think like me. And the other funny thing too is, Brad, when I find myself going to a cafe now for a coffee, I don't read the paper anymore. I read Twitter. Because I actually want to hear the opinions of people that matter to me. Are you getting good quality information? Yeah, I am. If you, I mean, if you follow the right people, you do. And that's why I like Twitter. It's short, sharp, it's very instant. It's uploaded immediately. There's a lot of discussion around it and it goes away. Well, the other part of it is that you're putting good information out there as well. If you're writing and you're a professional, you're going to be competing against a whole lot of people that don't know what they're talking about. So it's good to have a, a true good voice that's out mm. there too. And you know what else I found out that I wasn't aware of too, is coming down the track, we talk about something called social media real estate. If we don't actually own our own handles of our, our names as doctors, people can actually take them up for us and pretend to be us. Now it sounds a little bit spooky and a bit paranoid, but it's actually true that if we really want to protect and identify with who we are and be authentic to our own messages, we have to own our social media real estate space. Have you ever thought of it like that? I got my blue tick. Just did for that reason. Did yeah. you? I did, I did. So I've, I've got my certificate of approval that that's actually me. So it took me a long time to get it, but um, yeah, it's exactly for that reason. So people don't uh, in impersonate me online. Mm, how do you get a blue tick? Um, I'll tell you off camera. Well, <laughs> Brad's going to see me by the sea. He can tell you there too. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Helen.